Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to hopefully get this TV working again. So this is a revisit video, I tried to fix this TV a few months back and I couldn't do it because it needs a new panel, a new screen. As you can see, I stupidly picked it up via the bottom bit here and you can see where my thumb's gone in here, caused a pressure point, didn't even hear it click, didn't even have the satisfaction of hearing it click or smash or anything, just turned it on next time and it was like this. So I naively at the time thought it would be easy to get a replacement panel, a replacement screen off eBay, but that was not the case. I've checked and I have checked since then as well and they never come up for sale. You can buy the TV as a whole for not a huge amount of money, but mostly it's collection only, and I haven't had one near enough to me to, to collect. Secondly, I don't really want the whole TV, I just want the panel, because the rest of the TV is working fine. Now the reason they don't sell the panels, I presume, is because on shipping them, there's gonna be a very good chance that they will get broken. Also, I heard that when they're making the panels, they have quite a high failure rate, so if they make maybe 100 panels, I don't think they get 100 panels out of it. So the panel is basically the main cost of the TV, and when they break, unless you're going to be able to find 140 on eBay, unless you're going to be able to get one that somebody's broken up on eBay, it's very unlikely because if the board breaks, there's plenty of boards for sale on eBay, but there's not plenty of panels. So what you normally find is all the broken on t uh, ones uh, on eBay will have a broken screen. So the advice at the end of the original video was if you're going to buy one off eBay to fix, make sure that there is panels on eBay that you can buy. Otherwise, you're just gonna be left with a TV that's gonna be unfixable. So I kind of forgot about it because I was checking on and off and the panels were never available. Until a man called Michael from Australia came to my rescue and he basically said he had exactly the same panel that I needed because he watched the video. He must have got the number off that video and he said he's got one, and he said he'd send that over. Now, it is coming all the way from Australia, so he said it's gonna be well packed. There's a very good chance, well, I, I hope it hasn't arrived broken. It arrived today, amazingly, it was posted on the 4th of February. Today is the 12th, and it's arrived. I couldn't believe it. He was told it could take up to 30 days. It took, uh, what's that, just over a week, which is absolutely amazing, all the way from Australia. So I'm gonna open it up live on here and hopefully fit it in here. And I'm hoping to have a working TV because I've really missed this one here. I can get, basically smaller screens are becoming harder to get. Years ago on, uh, on a place like Argos, you would see loads of them for sale. Now, when you look, there's only a couple for sale. And the problem with them is, a lot of them just have like one HDMI port and then maybe, you know, one other port. What I like about this is I've got SCAR, I've got composite, I've got component, I've got USB inputs, HDMI, two HDMIs here and here. I've got a headphone and I've also got VGA as well, as well as that obviously is a TV, so I've got RF. So basically this was the TV I used for all of my videos near enough when I come to do the check-in at the end because I can have the console down in front of it, get it all in in screen at the same time, and I have massively missed this one, so if I can get it working again, I'm gonna be so happy. Now, I've had to take off all the details, because otherwise you would have seen my address and also uh, Michael's address as well, but look, it was expensive. It was $55, but that would be Australian dollars. I'm gonna just quickly look up what that is in the UK. Actually, it's not too bad at all. 28 pounds, 77 P. So, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is pretty good. I really hope now it hasn't arrived broken. So let's turn this off and let's open it up. And let's see what it's like. It's amazing that this has had to come all the way from Australia, but honestly, it would be worth every penny of that postage if, uh, if this TV can be working again. That is unusual sticky tape. Look at that, it's a wood grain. Because you could have that as your laminate flooring. Right, we've got a nice bit of polystyrene at the top. Loads and loads of bubble wrap. This is looking good. Hope I don't break it now as I take it out. Oh, there's loads of bubble wrap on this. This should be. Uh, it should be good, and there's more bubble wrap on the inside there as well. Oh, 
Right, okay, so I'll just put the side panel and everything in. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. Oh, lovely. Excellent. That doesn't look to be cracked. Obviously, I haven't uh, turned it on yet. But that looks to be that looks to be okay. It's in good condition as well. A few tiny scratches there, but that's uh, that's perfect. I really hope now that I don't break this on the way in. It's uh, there's so much more pressure on me because I know this is my one and only chance. The chance of getting another screen like this is going to be very, very, very slim. And I know there's a few of you out there that would actually probably like to see it being broken <laughs> on the way in, but I really, really don't want to break this one. Okay, so we're going to take out this old screen here. I'm just going to fast forward through the whole thing because if you want to see it come apart and stuff like that, you can watch my, uh, watch my other video. Obviously, I'm unplugging it from the uh, power connector. Right, let's get this one apart. I think we'll pick it up from here so as you can see I've got the back cover off so now I need to remove this board and I also need to remove like the outer bezel and the speakers and stuff as well so we can uh, attach it to the to the new one so let's push these little clips in to get rid of this one here okay so that came out nice and easy now I think I'm going to undo these speakers down here Right, at least plug in here so I can just like squeeze this and take it out. Again, nice and easy. So I'm just going to remember which way they go round. So the white and black one is on, is on my right hand side when I'm looking at the back of the TV. Right, I'm going to take off this clamp here. and unplug it from here. Again, that just pulls out. Now, Michael has actually included quite a few things like these ones at the bottom, but I'm gonna uh, use all the original ones if I can, and I can just have the others as spare then. Right, so with this very long ribbon cable, I'm just gonna pull it out from this side here. And I'm just gonna gently peel it away from this backing. And I'm not going to bother unplugging it from the board because we're going to be taking the board out anyway. Take off these brackets at the bottom here. Take the board out. And I'm hoping now that this old uh, screen will, will pull out. Yes, it will. Right, okay, so let's pop the new one in and then we can worry about what is or isn't on the new one when we compare it to this old one here. So I think with this one I'm actually going to remove my blue mat to make everything nice and flat here. There's nothing there that's going to scratch anything. Uh, what I could do is I could put down a bit of bubble wrap. There we go. All right, let's get the new screen and I've got to make sure it goes the right way up. Not going to worry about cleaning it yet. So it's going to go this way. Like that. So we've already got that on it. We've got loads of tape. I can, uh, it's already a ribbon cable there. Do you know what? I can just reuse that ribbon cable, save me peeling it off. And it's already plugged into that side there. So, uh, I suppose, well, look, I can just use my one as a spare. I can just use my one as the spare one. This is already in the right place, so we can just use this. Just make sure the buttons are exactly the same. Yeah, so this is obviously from exactly the same model uh, model TV. One second, there's a twist on this here. There we go. That's that. That's plugged in there.
Ah, so this is different here. This setup's different. So let's get rid of this. This has got a little on and off switch at the, at the side here. Okay, now this little thing here is the, uh, must be the remote control IR receiver thing. So let's pop this back into its place and we can do up to two screws there. See, the problem is when the screens are not on, they don't actually look broken. I mean, if you look at that one there, yes, there's fingerprints all over it, but you can't see any cracks. I mean, we know there's a crack here, but you can't see anything. So, uh, although I said the screen's not smashed, I don't actually know that yet, do I, until I turn it on. See, if you were doing this all the time, you would just quickly rig it up and test it now before putting it all back together. My worry is that if I do something and then something drops or hits it, I don't want to. I don't want to break it. So, either way, I want this back together, even if it's broken, because then I'm still going to keep it for spares and stuff anyway. So rather than have a load of kind of screws all over the place, I might as well have this all in there in one go. So I am going to actually put it fully back together before we find out whether it's working or not. I'm just popping the speakers back in. Right, so let's unplug my ribbon cable and it goes the blue side up. Let's plug this one in. Right, that's gone in. That was a little bit hard to get in that one. So let's plug this one in here. And let's plug the speakers in. That's that, and now we can plug this one back into the top bit here. Right, that's gone in lovely, so I can now sort of take that back down. Okay, that's not going to go. I might have to add a bit of tape here to keep these things down. Uh, and now we just need the power cable. There. So I'm going to add the screws in here. I'm just going to add a little bit of tape to hold these things down. Just pushing it to the side because I don't want the stickiness to go on them there. Right, I think that is everything back to how it was. So we've got the power going in and connected. We've got what I think is the backlight going down to here. This is connected to that one there. And this is then connected through to the board here. And we've got the speakers in. So I think that is all, uh, I think that's all back together. And the rest of the screws go on the outside. So let's pop the back back on. I'm just going to give the back a quick hoover out now that I've got it off. screen is certainly a lot cleaner than my one. Right, let's uh, plug it in and let's see whether or not this is going to work. So, all right, we've got a little blue light down here. Let's get the remote control. And let's uh, turn it on. Yeah, okay, so it's recognizing the remote control. Let's see if anything's gonna come up on the display. 
Yes! Oh, brilliant. Excellent, excellent, excellent. It didn't get broken and it's travelled all those miles from Australia. Thousands and thousands of miles. Oh, look at that. Oh, you don't know how happy I am to have this TV back up and running because of the amount of inputs. This is the one TV that did everything. If you look back to so many of my videos, you will see this TV working on there. I'm so honestly, I've really, really, really missed this TV. Oh, thank you, Michael. Honestly, thank you so, so much. I'm going to uh, email you now and tell you, uh, tell you the good news. Uh, let's get this just connected up to some sort of input or something just to make sure that we have got the HDMI still working. It should be working fine, but I just want to double check. There we go, back in business. Everything's working fine. So a massive, massive big thumbs up to Michael from Australia. Thank you so much for sending that over. I was apprehensive traveling all those miles that would arrive broken, but well done for packing it so well. Absolutely perfect. So now hopefully, this TV will last me many, many years like it has done up until this stage. I just need to make sure that I don't get careless and pick it up like this or like that. I've got to make sure I use two hands rather than carrying it with one hand. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you do like TV videos, do check out Paul from Tampa Tech. He's got a lot of videos on TVs on his channel, how to fault find them and various different fixes and stuff. So hopefully you will like that. So, yeah, I think... If you can get hold of a panel, you can see they are actually very easy to replace. The problem is, is getting hold of that panel. So I definitely wouldn't try to buy a TV on the cheap with a broken screen until you've definitely researched that you can get the exact, not a similar one, the exact panel for that particular model. And unfortunately, that is the hard bit. But uh, yeah, I was lucky because obviously I've got a YouTube video, various different people seen it. And Michael had a spare one that he was kind enough to send over. But most normal people wouldn't have that privilege. So, uh, yeah, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe for more trying to fix videos. Take care. Bye now.